you know, it's really fun for me to, to come here and, and, as I said, to be a part of something like this. Because I think, again, sitting in the back, I can see that energy and that excitement and that enthusiasm. And it's very similar, I think, to what we have as a hockey team. Um, we have that unique ability to believe in ourselves and to believe in each other. We had that enthusiasm, we had that pride, we had that love for, for not only ourselves but each other. Uh, we were, I think, what everybody typifies and looks for in the ultimate team. Um, you know, I remember going into the Olympic Games in 1980, we were seated seventh. Nobody thought this team could win, and they all just figured that the Soviets, who had not lost an Olympic game, let alone gold medal, but had not lost an Olympic game since 1960. And you think about breaking down barriers. Here we were, a hockey team, going into the games in 1980 that nobody in the world thought we had a chance of winning. And, you know, they, these experts, these so-called hockey experts, looked at all the teams, and they said, well, the Soviets are the best, uh, Czechoslovakia, uh, has a chance to beat this team. They'll probably come in second. Uh, Sweden, Finland, third, fourth, Canada, fifth, West Germany, sixth, United States, seventh. And what people did with our hockey team, and I know they, they, they do it in, in business, is they looked at our abilities. And I remember a high school football coach that always told me that ability in a dime gets you a cup of coffee. And that is to be the best that you can be. How do you do it? How does it happen? I think it goes back to the values. Pride, commitment, respect, love. Believing in yourself and believing in each other. Having those intangibles, those qualities that separate good teams from great teams. Good businesses from great businesses. And I think it's, you know, it's kind of funny for me to come here also because, you know, I always think about the fact that what if we didn't win? You know, if we didn't win, I wouldn't be here. You know? <laughs> Please welcome Mike. He was in the Olympic Games. Uh, Mary Lou Retton would be here. You know? So I'm fortunate to understand that Good things have happened to me because of what happened to our team in 1980. But I'm also very wise to understand that the reason we were successful was because I think the same reasons that you people strive to be successful. And that is the ability to believe in yourself and each other. When you can look to, from one room to the other or one part of this country to the other part and know that you're successful, not only because of what you do, but because of what everybody else does in the room, that's a great feeling. For me to know that I won a gold medal, not because of, only because of the time and effort and work that I had put in, but my teammates. Mark Johnson was our best player. Jim Craig was an outstanding goaltender. But if Jimmy let in every shot, or Jimmy stopped every shot, and we never scored any goals, we weren't going to be successful. Mark, as great as he was, if David Silk or Robbie McClanahan didn't go get him the puck, it didn't matter. He wouldn't have been able to do the things that he could do. So I think we as a team, and I think you as a team, understand that in order to be successful in whatever endeavor it is, and as I said to you, there's a direct correlation between the success that you strive for and the success that we as athletes strive for, and that is to be the best that we can be.